We are now live on the YouTube. Jody just informed me I need a forehead reduction. I didn't inform you that you need a forehead reduction. I said, let's go. It's not like I can tell you need a forehead reduction and I'm just here, over here hanging out like, <laughs> come on everybody, land, terminal two right here. I mean, I feel like I've gotten so used to my big head. Yeah, definitely. I mean, at one point in time, my big head did bother me enough, but not anymore. Ah, uh, true. You know why? Because there's so many like celebrities now that have big heads. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like my hairline just keeps traveling further I know when you back. have little head, you say, with a small head. It's true. Pea head. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. <laughs> hey, Hi. Lady B. And Jammy Jams is here as well. Ross Tanisha. Mm. Hello, everybody. Oh, wow, everybody's dreamy is logging in. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tricky where we take your mind off of what's going on outside of the closet and bring you in here for a full hour of fun, frolic and be beautiful foolishness. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading a message that said Tracy you look so beautiful. You, you can't you, you can't walk and walk and talk going on. No, I cannot walk and talk. I cannot walk and talk. Yeah. That is definitely something I do not pretend. Mm. What is the plan today? Boy, we don't know. I have had a very, very hectic morning. So, yes, I've had a hectic morning. See, I have on my mom gear. I went to Levi's prize giving this morning, which I did not know Levi was taking part in. I didn't know parents were a part of because the one email that I didn't read with all the information told you where to park, what to do, what time it start, that he wasn't to wear a PE uniform, but regular uniform. Thank goodness one of the mummies called me last night and she's like, Aren't you going to send a reminder to the parents? Because I'm also the class rep. Anyway, Levi gets in surf etiquette and he got honors in drama. Um, drama, music, and PE. And I don't know where him gets honors in a PE from because I never learned that from my mother. I've always asked if the school has a chess club inside in the air conditioning and I will be the loudest one. Yeah, move your king! Woo! Yeah! Yeah, crown it! Yeah! Yeah! Boo, boo, boo! But in terms of like the physical education outside, he'll be swimming and this is me outside. I'll be like, yo, anybody brought a hat? Like, can I borrow a hat, please? Like, this is, why do I have to be outside? They can't build, you know what your school fees? They can't put one tent out over here, no? So I'm in the, I'm in the cafeteria hiding. The kids are like, um, excuse me, miss, we need to put our bags there. And I'm like sitting under the table. I'm like, it's fine, it's fine. Put your bags, put your bags. I'll hold your bag. I'm not going out there in the sun. When it's raining, I'll be the only person. I'm like, oh, thank God. Yeah. All right, guys, so we have a few hot topics to talk about today. Um, just to find out like different opinions and, you know, give a little hot topic-y top top. Um, big up to Levi. Thanks, Joe. Um, I am very proud of him. It didn't matter what um, he got honors in. I am glad that, you know, he's doing well. Um, he's very social. Um, Is you eat chicken batty? You don't yeah. stop. You no? don't stop. All right, cool, cool. You don't cool. stop. All right, cool. We just washed down the chicken batty with my little lady bee mix all the juice, spicy stop. mango. No, you I can't. can't. Even stop. So today we're drinking a spicy mango mojito here. And I have to be careful because it's spicy. So I don't want this spice to lick up in our <laughs> throat back because it will choke me. Well, from lady bee today, I have peachy Aye. island. And they're so frozen up nice, I nice. forgot. I forgot to take them out the freezer a little early. Montreal in the house. All right. All right. So with my, continue with my chicken batty. All right. So um, I saw Chiny K pop girl. She just um, tuned in and, you know, I'm always, I'm a big fan of the show. So she was talking about this this morning and um, another somewhere else. And I think I see it online a lot. So I was like, you know, I would like to kind of talk about this today because sometimes, you know, when we live in our bubble or we have our own opinions, we're not very open to what other people may think or we've already created our opinion and we're like, yeah, that's how it goes. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to bring up to see what you guys are saying to see what you would say. So there's this mom. She has four children, right? For, I believe, three different baby fathers. And one of the baby fathers will come every day. This is not in Jamaica. Um, one of the baby fathers will come by every day and bring his child a happy meal. He has... BBC News. BBC News. I want one for BBC. So he has one child and he'll bring a happy meal for that child. And the mother is vexed. You see, see, he's coming here again and he doesn't bring food for all my children. I'm going to light him up. He's only bringing food for one child and that's not fair and blah, 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 blah. Um, and I just wanted to know, like, what, what do you think about that? 
What? Wait, hold on. Um, let me go. Let me go on. Um. Let me go on. Well, I'm just gonna start with by what I'm saying and saying um that this is my opinion, okay? And everybody is entitled to their own opinion. This is not the life that I am living, so my opinion also does not improve the price of rice in her life. But I don't think that the father has any obligation to those other three children at all. And if he doesn't want to bring for the other three children, then he doesn't have to bring for the other three children. He doesn't have to put on them nothing. He's not living with her. They're not in a relationship together. He's just, you know, he's just a baby father, as you would put it. And so I'm sure that he does. He has joint custody with his child. So he gets a child on weekends or whatever. But he has no... um. He has no musts with the other three children. So right. I'm glad that he's keeping a relationship with his child by bringing his child food. And yes, it is a, it, you could say that this is selfish, but he has no obligation to the other three children. And my gosh, she should be happy that he is supo looking to, to, to do Look something after with his, his child. child. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what's happening with the... Okay, genius. <coughs> yeah, I'm not sure what's happening with the internet. We just went over onto... Um, oh, but it's still freezing. All right, so didn't hear the story. So there's a post a woman, she has four kids. The baby father of one brings a child, his Burger King, every single day and doesn't bring for the children. The mother is really upset. She was filming and she was saying, look how him only bringing for the one child. That's not fair, blah, blah, blah. And she was getting very, very, very upset. So I was saying to Tracy, I'm what do you think about that? So she's basically saying that he has no obligation to the other kids. I saw a comment where somebody was saying maybe he doesn't have enough money to get for the other children. And I agree, he doesn't have a moral obligation to the other children. And I think that women need to stop thinking that a man is going to come in on a white horse and save you from all of your problems, you know? Having children is something that... He comes in a white BMW. <laughs> having, having children is something that needs to be discussed. And you yourself, as a woman, need to understand that this is a obligation that I am putting myself under too and as a woman you need to have the financial to capacity to be able to take care of the children as well like it shouldn't just be the father's um, duty to do financial obligations you as a woman need to know okay if anything happens I have two I have two shillings to rub together to take care of this child you know I think that women are, we do a lot already though we do a lot we do do a lot, but what I'm trying to say is that you can't just boop and go in and say, yeah, me want a picnic. Like, okay, let's think about what a picnic entails. Let's think about the time that you're going to have to give up, the selflessness that you're going to have to do, the financial situation, your living situation. Where is the baby going to sleep? Where is this child going to go? Do you have room for the baby? Like, do you have food for the baby? Do you have enough food for pampers? If the baby is going to need formula, then that's another expense because you can't breastfeed. Do you have clothes for the baby it's a lot of expenses that you know you can't just pick up and say yeah i want a picnic like you have to do family planning well family planning is is great in an ideal world it you is know, there's some times where you can't exactly family plan so know that you're in this situation i mean she's found herself in this situation four different times right you know and i think that instead of her trying to beat down the dad to be like this is what you're not doing for the other children i think what she should be doing is commending him for what he is doing for exactly. his child exactly so i think that would be a better place for her to come from and maybe she could say hey listen Paul, you know, I thank you very much. This is great. But, you know, tomorrow I'm going to give you a little extra money or, you know, there's a dollar menu. There's, you know, like a little special going on at KFC. Is it possible tomorrow that you could maybe bring for everybody? Yeah. Um, just because, you know, it's starting to look away and I feel really bad that I can't provide this to my other children, you know, or, or, Paul, listen, tomorrow can I send down little Joe in the car with you and maybe you have the meal with him because my other kids, you know, it looks really bad that their father may not be providing, you know, as nicely for them and I can't give them um, yeah. fast food every day. Maybe I can send down little Joe to the, to the car and you guys have that time together. Yeah. Yeah, you know, instead yeah. of her loading him up, I think there was other ways that she could have done this because he is being very nice to bring that child fast food every day and where I'm from, in Jamaica, fast food is not cheap. No. So I understand because I did hear one of the radio hosts saying, oh, I think it was actually Chinese, and she was saying, the dollar menu, dollar menu is so cheap. 
you know, but sometimes... But you know what? It's, it's, it, he doesn't have an obligation to the other yeah, children. Okay, okay, okay. And you know, I, it's so funny that you should bring this up because just this morning, I was listening to a YouTube post by Crystal Tomlinson. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw that. No, I didn't see it, but it I... It was on her. If you, if, and I encourage everybody to go and listen to that YouTube um, post that Crystal Tomlinson... Podcast. Did, podcast, or whatever it was, cast, that she was doing Crystal Tomlinson because she... Apparently, um, for Father's Day, um, she made some posts about her baby father. And everybody was like, wow, you're good. I could have never me. I would have never have such nice words to say about my baby father or not in this lifetime and blah, 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 blah. And so Crystal was just coming on to the podcast to say, you know, um, it takes two people to raise a child and she was like the way that I would like to raise my child might not be the same way as my baby father I'm not sure who her baby father is but anyway um might not be the same I really like Crystal Tomlinson too yeah. she speaks so oh, well. well and she's very even yeah so she'll she'll consider so the said, other side is, as is well her Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So her baby father is being a man. I wasn't sure. Um, so she was just saying, like, the way that I like to raise my child may not be the same way that he would like to raise a child, but we do have the same goal in mind. Right. Like, we do have safety. We do have love. Um, love. We do have... But the way I'm going to tell my kid to, to tie a shoe may not be the same way that my baby father would like to teach my child to tie a shoe. The but way. I think you could do things in a respectable manner. And That's I think at said. the end of the day, parents need to realize there will be a big, big difference in how your child is raised, the morals and values your child That's is raised, saying. and how they will be presented to the world if the parents can try to get along. That's and I'm not saying, saying you can't cuss him backside down and back and calling him dirty down. But don't worry the child here. Exactly. And she was saying that... When man and woman catch up in an argument, it is of no business of the child to hear those arguments. And she's like, you know, sometimes you go to your child and you use your child as a counselor. So you say to mm. the child, oh, your father didn't do this or your father didn't do that. Your father didn't do this. But what you're actually doing is you're causing a block in the child's life between you as well. Yes, no Debbie says, love your child more than you dislike the father. Love that. Right. So she's saying that sometimes you cause a block because now you send your child out to go and have fun with the father and the child comes back and you're like, what did you do with the father? And the child doesn't want to say anything yes, to yes, you yes, yes, because yes. they're afraid to say to you, oh, hey, I had a good time with my dad. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, just also... Anyways, point to what I'm saying is go and listen to that podcast by Crystal Tomlinson. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even if you do not have a baby father situation, it was just such a beautiful podcast. It was podcast. enlightening. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was really nice to listen to that. I do, I, I do think Crystal has a lot to say and a lot of positivity and just, she's just so eloquent. Dude, and when she used someone else's words, and I yeah. was like, you know what I don't use words? You know what I like about her eloquency? Is that it's not shoved in your face no. like, I'm smarter than you. Mm -mm. It's, I'm saying it's something to, yeah. It's like a nana type of eloquency. Eloquency, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the eloquency there. Mm -hmm. Guys, today we're having some Eloquency gummies. Mm -hmm. This one will make you eloquent. That one make you fool. So you've been having too many of those. <laughs> We're having some gummy bears from Candy Craze, everybody. These are the wild cherry gummy bears. They are nice and soft. What These ones are the eloquency ones. These are blue raspberry gummy bears. I've been eating these. No, I can tell. <laughs> Yeah. from Candy Craze and um, as you know you can head on over to Candy Craze they have two locations one in Fontana Waterloo and the other one over in Barbican Progressive you can get the candy by the scoop off of the wall when I say off the wall they have like walls of candy um, or you can buy prepackaged candy they also do little loop bags and um, candy and like little boxes and stuff that you give to the kids yeah and they also have gift cards great for Oh, Special occasions at the end of the end of term so you can get some for mm -hmm. the teacher or for class party. Shout out to all the mothers who are able to do both mom and dad. True. And shout out to all of the single yeah. dads out there who are playing the role of both as well. And I think that's because there's not a lot of them or not many of them are shown in the media. Sometimes we may leave them out and nothing is hotter than a single dad like coming here in the morning and getting the kids ready for school. Let me just tell you. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. No. I got one on my feet. I'm like, oh, maybe washing the clothes. I'm like, oh, scrub, scrub. All right. 
<laughs> Thoughts on the Roe versus Wade ending? Very simple. I don't, don't tell think me what, what to do with my body. And it's always some old, little, decrepit, dead enough white man telling always. women what to do with their body. And it's just always. so unfair. And fine, you know what? You want to do that? Then I posted something on it. Then let's all ban Viagra because if you, your little stinky, dead body should not be able to like jump up with a pill if I can't have an abortion. You want to tell me what to do with my body? Then here, let's tell the men what to do with their body too. No Viagra for you. And I think too, I um. Like what's happening in terms of like rape and incest. And it's just really sad. It's really, really sad that in America, freedom of expression and everybody do what you want to do. And five-year-olds have a TikTok and you can take your gun into school and just mass shoot. And you can have all this freedom of expression and wear what you want, wherever you want and say what you want. But yet the lawmakers are saying, actually, no, you can't. And I just think that it's really sad. And it's, it's, a, it's Yeah. Very, very sad. I'm, I'm glad that I live in Jamaica and um, I um, have let all my friends know whoever needs to come to no, Jamaica. No, who do you love? Are you for sure? It's not about sex. It's deeper than that. It's about what you can do with your body. Like you're telling me literally that I can't make decisions that are going to affect the rest of my life. I can't do that. I can't make a decision that's good for myself but yet you aren't helping me you aren't financially helping mm -hmm. me you aren't sending like me literally more. because you you can't file for the um the, the fetus on your um tax returns you can't fi it's, it's you, crazy you aren't financially helping me you're not helping me financially but you're telling me what i can do that is directly going to affect me for the rest of my life so if they can do that for a woman, then I do think that what I was saying is that if you can tell a woman what to do with her body, then tell a man what to do with his body. He wants to have Viagra for pleasure. Well, then tell him no. You, 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 your body dead, your body dead. Like it dead. Just there's, that. There, and it's, 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 there's no equation. Like there's no equation. There's nothing that has been taken away from men. Nothing. Nothing. That equates Noth to men you. Aren't, men aren't given oral contraceptives. Men aren't said, oh, you know, go and get um, vasectomies. It's not made popular. Like men aren't told to do anything. It's all the women. Men aren't told, oh, hey, like you don't hear men fat shaming each other like you know you don't hear a lot of these things and i just feel that so much is put on the woman and i just think it's totally and the ridiculous. women that have health issues and have to choose between themselves or having a baby i mean i just find it's that crazy. this is so um they are doing this because a white minority is uh, it's diminishing i saw a video on that today this just goes so much deeper and I, I, boy, I don't know. Like this is, it's really, really crazy. But you know, um, we try to keep things light around here. You know, we started this wait a vlog. We said we weren't going to talk too much about Corona because you know, as we said, we bring you inside the closet um, for fun, frolic, and foolishness, and um, we want to kind of keep things light. So I understand that this is a, a heavy topic. Topic we just spoke about a he heavy topic. So let's kind of lighten things up a All little right, bit. Let's lighten it up. Let's lighten it up. All Come right. here. I have a drink for you. My, my kind of lightning up, not gonna lie. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. everybody's been asking. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, you think now that you're a mixologist? Yeah. Okay. Is there no a problem. problem? All right, Lady T, no I've, problem. I've had, my, I've had my days as a designer. Lady T in the house here. Lady T, Lady T. So, everybody's been asking me what kind of products do you have on Carib Shopper? So, I keep telling them to go onto caribshopper.com just to see what kind of products you are on there. We have stuff from clothing, we have shoes, we have food items, we have medications, we have all sorts of things there, right there on Carib Shopper, just for your delight. So one of the things that is on Carib Shopper now is... <laughs> Tracy! What? One of the things that is on Carib Shopper now is this drink mix, this daiquiri drink mix called Jazz. Here it is right and it is a sorrel da a sorrel daiquiri mix so it's like it's it's a little thicker than a syrup right mm -hmm. so you can make all sorts of drinks with this you can make daiquiri you can make martini you can put it in your champagne your prosecco oh, yeah. right a instead of a, uh, like a like a what we used to call it uh not a so right so it actually is a little bit jelly right so, like at the bottom of the, the Prosecco, what we used to call it again? 
cassis. Yes, like a cassis. Right? So you can put this in there. So this is one of the... Wow, oops, that's sorry. a heaping spoonful. Right. Okay. But I love that this is like sorrel flavor. Mm -hmm. Let me see. It's very lovely. It's gingery and nice sorrel flavor. I mean, I don't let this be oh, the this only nice. thing. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. I taste the way, what is something there? Like a pokey pokey something yeah. you cook with the um, sorrel. The sorrel cloves. Mm -hmm. Don't Ooh. let this be the only way you can use your jazz drink mix. I'm just going to put a little ginger pear in here. Of course, Jody don't have the good good Jamaican ginger pear. She has some... You know how hard it is to find a Jamaican ginger pear, but it's okay because it Tracy put a whole ass piece of ginger here. Like... Right? Okay, so lady tea. This is actually called fat thing. Fat thing? Fat thing. Fat thing. Yes. Okay? And so this is... Oh, it comes with a... <coughs> Add the bubbles. Well, it's kind of hard to taste the um. This is Christmas in a cup. It's kind of hard to taste the, the mix when you put so much white rum. Oh, I think it tastes great. I mean, and don't let this be the only thing that you think you can do with jazz. Jazz does not have to be what? used for drinks alone. It can also be used as a topper on your ice cream. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. It can be used on top of your danishes if you want to just drizzle a little on top of your danishes, on top of your cookies. Mm -hmm. It is a very, it's not as watery as a syrup as you see it was kind of like a well if you want it to be a syrup you can just mix it down with a little water i would prefer something thicker I mean, like that you can make your own lemonade you can make your you can drink. use a garnish plate garnish you can yeah it i mean it is i think i think though yeah i mean lady t don't get me wrong i think your your skills are quite nice but i just want to taste this by itself i mean your drink was amazing i mean lady t but this is so nice and thick like i love this I garnished mine with a piece so of ninja nice. ginger. I showed I showed the ginger. Uh -huh. This is really good. It's nice, eh? Mm -hmm. The flavor of it is so 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 good. So in foreign, I've been to places in foreign for my passport stamp up, and they don't call it sorrel, they call it hibiscus. Okay. So this is hibiscus drink while drinking. But it's sorrel and this tastes just like Christmas. And it's nice because if you do live abroad and you can't get the hibiscus, aka the sorrel, what we love, then you can just use this and make up your little sorrel drinks. This is really good. You, it's really good. I'm not gonna lie. You mix it, you, 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 you didn't do like. You never I really put some more. No, no, no. What? What are you complaining about? You need to work on your, your mixology skills. Taste mine. Mm. Oh, yours is better than mine? Let me taste. Mmm. Okay. What you did? Cheers. Mmm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I like, when you, I like when you can taste the rum, like the rum licking at the back of your throat, but it's a fight back of throat with the ginger, yeah. and then the palate is just cleansed with the sorrel. And I mean, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight. Different type of drink mixes that you can make with this one. Jamaicans little... overseas still call it sorrel. Yes. Of course. But I was saying that America, when I went to America, oh, they don't call it sorrel. Sorrel, they call it hibiscus. hibiscus. Okay, okay. But it wasn't the Jamaicans. Right. It but was the like Jamaicans how they don't call say hibiscus. Batteries. They say battery. Batteries. You know? You know what? Yeah, batteries. Or they don't batteries. say plantain. They say batteries and plantain. battery are two different things. Yeah. Plantains. Plantain. 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 Can I get some, some water? Some water. Some water. Like when Levi says, Mom, can I have some water? I'm like, okay, uh, what do you want? Water. Say water. W-A-T-A, -A, water. You know oh, Sydney, you got your card. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad you got your little card. Anyway, did she give you a dirty cup? Uh -huh. That must be a joke. It's a Sean Paul joke. Oh, 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 oh. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have a little game. So the last time that we went on a we have a little game. game. <laughs> Alright, so we have some uncommon questions, right? Okay, okay, okay. So you know sometimes we like to play little games that we bought online and then we like to test them out with each other so that you know if we're going on like a country weekend or friends are coming over, we can be like, yo, this game is really, really good. I think we've asked this question before. Let's do this one. Jody says, 
oxtails kill me. Like why they add an S at the end. Yo, because it's more than one. Jody and I were talking about this the other day and I hate when people call me Tracy Romans. Like it's what? There's no S at the end of my name. It's just Roman. Tracy Roman. It's just Tracy Roman. There's no S. But it's also like... But that's why you people, say hairs. But uh, I think it's funny. I, I hate hairs. when you say but hairs. Anyway, but people in Jamaica also love to add Anne into people's name. Jody Anne, Tracy Anne. I hate Stevie. it. Somebody Jody said, Anne. I'm like, I can't spell. <laughs> I'm not Jody Anne Maxwell. <laughs> and then people say, Stevie Anne. <laughs> like, there's no Anne in her name. So yes. Anne. So the other day, Tracy. So if you're a girl, you just have to have Anne. <laughs> yeah. Tracy Ann. I think Jody Ann came from Jody Ann Maxwell. Like, the whole of Jamaica was cheering on Jody Ann Maxwell when she entered the spelling bee. Dude, I don't know what everybody was like. Um, yes, Tracy colored my hair for me the other day. You know, it's summer, so it went a little bit lighter. And I don't know if it's because the hair is now lighter, but Lord God, my forehead gained a whole fucking inch. You don't see it. Joe, why it's did you say that word? Inch? No, no, it's gonna be so mad. mad. Nana says we have two strikes every show, so that's one of my strikes. Oh my. You said a bad word earlier. What no, I did about? not. Yes, did. What did I say? I can't remember. I didn't say a bad word. You said a bad word. No, I did not. You just don't want to be alone in the bad word corner. I am an adult. This is what I tell Levi and Remy all the time. Like the other day when I said S out loud, Remy didn't know what you hear, Remy? Shit. And I'm like, no, 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 Remy. I am an that's adult. The I can strike. What do you mean? You just said the S word. But I was, I was giving an example well, of a situation. Well, we knew what it oh, was. Oh, oh, oh. I said it like something dropped on my foot and I was like, S. And Remy looks at me and goes, S. And I'm like, no, Remy, that is a bad word. That is not a word for you to say you are a child. And, you know, I think too that sometimes when you have adults talking, I'm like, oh, oh, copper tone. Oh, cotton balls. Oh, but Jesus. No, I'm an adult. And if I want to cuss, I'm going to cuss. You as a child needs to know that you mustn't say those words. Right? That, that, I'm sorry. Are you, asking for, are you asking for affirmation from me? Because you looked at me and said, right? It, no. Do you want me to agree with you? I don't need, I don't need the affirmation. That's oh, what I'm okay. my kids. Oh, okay, if okay. I need to express myself and say a bad word, I can. Mm -hmm. You as a child need to know your place and know so that you can say that word. Mm -hmm. And there'll be times where maybe she repeats, I said, no, that's a bad word. Or Levi said, what was the word? She says, um, she said, um, not a, not a terrible one. She said, she said, oh God. And I said, Remy, when you say, oh God, like that, and I repeated, oh God. And I said, that's a bad word. We want you to, you know, be respectful to the Lord and we don't want to be blasphemous. But, um, yeah, you are a child. You must know your place. You must know your place. Sorry. I don't know. Anybody else you want to talk around you like, oh, golly, golly heavens. And, oh, ouch. No, no, that's not me. I'm sorry. Because the big BC, RC, element of PC in here. Sorry. Actually, I'm not. Well. Well, the kids are learning a different type of alphabet. <laughs> Let's just get on with these questions. Leave, I did not get a certificate in Spanish when you should have because I'm bearding a ling a ling a ling ling ling. Let's speak around here. Anyway, what is something that will always make you laugh out loud? You. <laughs> you know the video when the man in I'm Tesla did need to do do. <laughs> he got it like. If I ever see that, <laughs> if I ever see that again, it's belly laughing. Like, I'll pop out of gas because I poop. I'm going to poop if I watch that video. So the guy is on the highway. There's a whole heap of traffic and he needs to do the really, really badly. Now, I don't know why he got out of his Tesla and walked 20 yards away to go stoop down in the grass so the whole of the traffic line could see him squatting. Oh, and then the guy, I think the funniest part about it was the person video videoing. The person video is like, he might go jump in, I do do. He might, he actually used the S word. He might go jump in, I do do. He might go jump in, I do do. And of course, the guy trying to pull up his pants, what did he do? Drop in on the doo doo. And I was like, why, why did you go so far? Like, pull the two doors of your Tesla and just pop a spot right there. Why you gone way over into the grass? He's a dog. Leah says a video of me fighting while I was pregnant. <laughs> That's true. Because um, you just continued like everything was normal. What was I supposed to do? Oliver at large at there. Oliver at large on a whole love him. I know. I was so sad when he wasn't casted to be Sebastian for that Disney movie. Oh, wasn't he? He was up against Shaggy or that was two different um, things? I have no idea. I just thought Oliver would have been a great um, 
like a sea crab <laughs> and cut to the bottom and run back the other way up. Nana going to put you on her knee and beat you, Jody. Nana has bad knees, you know. Nana can't manage me. Next question. Next question. What was your favorite cartoon as a kid? But who are we on this date with? Wait, we're on a date? Hey, you want to go on a date? Or are you still basking in your, in your date from Nigel? You've gotten over Nigel now. Nigel don't want to date you again. Who else you going what? on a date with? Nigel never call you back. How you know? How you know? Nigel call you back? So who are you going on a date with now? I think Nigel is married. Who are you going on a date with now? Fine. Who am I going on a date with now? Let me see. Who am I going on a date with? <sighs> My soulmate. Scott. No, no, no. Scott is not in this. Mr. Romans is not in this. He cannot <laughs> fix somebody else. Tom and Jerry, I agree. Tom and Jerry brings me back to my childhood. <laughs> Droopy and He-Man, Lord. Who, who, who else? Um, Skeletons, Bugs Bunny. Um, who am I he's, going oh, on easy a date with? All right, I'm going to, all right, yeah, so... Um, Citrus Darling says to take it easy. So pick a big muscle man that will be like, no, tell your sister to shut up. Oh, wow. Yeah. How about The Rock? You gonna go on a date with The Rock? You said a big muscle man. You want The Rock to beat me up? I mean, you were the one who said he was gonna beat me up. Fine, okay, fine. You're on a date. Tracy's now dating The Rock. Wow. Hey, Trace, so what was your favorite TV show when you were in high school? Hi. <laughs> Sweet, I can't talk with all those muscles. <laughs> Um, I used to really like Clarissa Explains It All. I used to love Ren and Stimpy. That was like a, like, yes, you love Ren, Ren, Ren and Stimpy. I loved Ren and Stimpy. And I liked Rugrats too. Yeah. Yeah, I like Rugrats. I can't, I, okay. What event in your life taught you the most about yourself? Oh my God. I don't know. I don't like this. I don't like the, the rock for you. Just, the, Let's go on another date. You don't like the rock? No. Why was he doing? Because I find like if he's off season, he's just going to look like a blob. Like he's gonna look like a big quartz refrigerator, not like the rock. Uh -huh. You know uh -huh. what I mean? You want a data fridge? But you were the one who said a big guy. All right, all right, all right. You, you went on a one date, had a slice of pizza. Move on now. Pick another guy. Okay. A Jamaican. A Jamaican guy? Yes, I don't want you to date a foreigner. Because then he's gonna be like, oh. babe, we need to move back to my home country of Italy. Okay, I'm picking a Jamaican guy now. Mm -hmm. Um. Ooh. Hmm. Idris Elba. Okay. Okay. Um. Send love and prayers to Trinidad. That they have a bad storm again. Wow. Oh, sending all our love to all of my fellow Trinis. Oh God. Okay. A Jamaican guy is a Jamaican. Okay. What about if I went on a date with Ding Dong? You know how much weight you would have lose? Alright, this would be you on the day. Alright, let's say, alright, let's say I'm dating Dinger. You want some coffee? <laughs> Go in the kitchen. Go in the kitchen. Cook your food. Cook your food. Go in the kitchen. Go in the kitchen. <laughs> time to wake up. It's time to wake up. Everything is a dance. Everything is a dance. It's time to wake up. Be vexed with you. Be vexed with you. Me vex, me vex, me vex, me vex, me vex, me vex with you. Me vex with you. <laughs> Everything could be a dance. All right, what do you want to tell him? What do you want to say? I'm ding dong. What do you want to tell him? Well, we're talking, and I was just going to be like, <laughs> Keep you on your toes. Keep you on your toes. <laughs> oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, I'd be like, Hey, ding. So, um, I see where did you want to go to eat for a date? You know what I want? What? Stir fry! Stir fry! <laughs> stir fry! Everybody stir fry! You know where to go and get stir fry? Where? I'm asking you! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh. Um, yeah, okay, we can go to the, we can go to the Chinese restaurant. I think there's one, we can go to Dragon Court down in um, Chinatown. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. Out of breath. Out of breath. Out of breath, everybody out of breath. <laughs> wow, David, has been so great. <laughs> you would have must lose weight. You would have must lose weight, man. You wow. think everything is a dance. Everything drop to school. Drop to school. Drop to school. Drop the kids off to school. <laughs> I 
actually that's a good one. I wonder if I dated Ding Dong if I'd learn to dance better. Uh, well I'd hope so, you know. Let me see. I know the dance, you know. What dance you know? You don't know no I dance. I know the dance. What yeah. drop to school? Bounce. Yeah? Yeah. You can say bounce. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. And, then, and then you're gonna and you whip them. Whip them. Whip them. Whip them. Whip them. Whip them. Hey. 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 <laughs> Whoa, that came from down here. That came from down here, eh? Can we put on the music so I can do it? <laughs> I want to find it. Right, you, you find it and get ready. Right, you're on the date with Ding Dong. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ding, this is so nice. Nice, you know? Nice, you know? Nice, you know, this date are nice, okay. you know? Okay, uh-huh. All right, I'm going to do it. Rivers! All right, Tracy Rivers, Rivers let's go. Awesome. I'm a warm up. Oh, warm up, warm up. Okay, so Ding is now asking you. Oh, Ding's interested now. He sees I have a little rhythm. Ding, <laughs> Ding, 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 interested now. <laughs> okay, Ding, Ding now sees that you have a little. What is Ding Dong's real name? Ding Dong, Didi. Didi? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ding Dong's real name is Didi. Mm -hmm. All right. Double D. Double D. All right, Double D is asking you what informal group are you most proud to be a member of? Um, Rebels! <laughs> <laughs> You almost forgot, yo! You <laughs> didn't give me a chance. <laughs> the Uptown Rivers. <laughs> what type of puzzles are you best at? Um, I'm good at... I actually hate puzzles. Really? I hate puzzles. Like, it's just too much. Like, you I feel like life is a puzzle. Yeah, I'm not even good at that puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm barely hanging on. I'm what really old good. habits have you phased out of your life? What um, is a word or phrase you previously used a lot of but you have not said in years? Wow. Um, old habits I phased out of my life, mm -hmm. I would have to say would be, guys, this is a very private one and I don't want to get any backlash in my... But I had an addiction one time. To equal packets. Oh my god, I remember that. Oh my god. I was addicted to, to Splendor. Like it was the, so uh, weird. The I artificial sweetener. I was addicted to it. And I used to walk out with the packets. <laughs> the box. She'd go to the supermarket and buy the box. And so when we realized Trace had it, because you know, I would see her doing it and I was like, you know, okay, I've had a sugar or I do have a sugar addiction. We were over at my cousin's house, right? And he was talking to us in the kitchen and we just heard <laughs> So no. Right? We just cause she's flicking the packet to get the sugar to the bottom and she opens it. Right? So then my cousin is like in the middle so of his story. But she doesn't realize that this is what's alerting everybody to the fact that there's an issue. So my cousin Kevin goes, um, hey, Trey, um, I love you and I'm not judging you or anything, but um oh, we need God. to slow down on the equal packets over there. And there's Trace with our box of equal in our bag, like it was so bad. It was so bad. <laughs> oh God, and that was a real addiction. Like, and they tell you about it on the box. Really? They say, yeah, it could cause addiction. And I was like, damn, that was me. Uh, so I'm glad I don't do that anymore. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Glad you've gotten over your little splendor addiction. Yeah. So that I was odd. That was very odd. So that's why I don't do anything that has like fake sugar in there anymore. Oh, so maybe I'm addicted to fake. Like I mix my coffee with. No, I've I've switched from. Um, artificial sh sugar to like a monk sugar. 
Stop your ass is you used to say that a lot. Hi from Malaysia. Hi. Hi. Um, that could be an episode of my strange addiction. It was it was so weird and like she had the she had the flick of the packet down like she could hold it and one flick all the crystals would go down and she'd turn just like yeah. I remember we went to the country with a group of people and this is when I knew it was a problem when I had to go inside and lock myself in the bathroom. <laughs> to the bathroom and eat my splendor <laughs> like what am i doing oh my god how did you stop it was actually really hard um i've never i've never had an addiction before and um i think i just had to really put my mind to it that this was does weird. this trigger you yeah. <laughs> no no <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just had to really put my mind that it was weird and that I needed to stop. Like it was yeah. just something that I had to be like, don't I do that. Go to like the supermarket and it had to be the little packets because you didn't want to put the spoon in the, no, in the container. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had to be the packets. Yeah, yeah. Guess it could have been worse. Yes, that's that's for sure. What fashion trends have? Okay, this one says, have you tried in the past? What fashion trends have you worn that you can't believe you wore that you absolutely hate now? I don't know. I mean, I feel like everything that I did, I did it because I, I felt so good in it. Or I felt that, you know, it suited me at the time. Hold on. So everything you've worn, you felt like you look good in? Well, everything you've worn, you feel good in? Just, just think. Not really. No? Okay. Why do you have something in mind? Ah, I mean, I think it's been a couple times that your fashion sense is questionable. So I just wanted to know, like, if you're like, yeah, I rocked everything, you know? What would I wear? I don't know, Trey. I think, it, like, mm, I don't know. It's... I mean, I don't think I've always worn the best outfit. Sometimes, been a, remember that time you came over to the house and you're like, change, you look like a magician? <laughs> <laughs> I look, oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Trey's going on. It was New Year's. It was New Year's. And so I, I just was planning on wearing these black sequin shorts with like a men's button-up shirt, kind of like baggy I'm gonna flip it over. over. Tracy yeah. talking about this outfit for two days, and she's like the black sequin, and I'm gonna tuck it in, and I'm gonna have it like low and open it, and like flip the collar because like you know usually and guys love when you wear their shirts. So I'm gonna flip the collar and blah, and I'm like, okay, okay. You see when I get to the house. This is right after I got my proposal, right? Sean just proposed, so I'm like on cloud nine. Like, guys, I couldn't even say anything to her. She gets like, hi, Joe. I'm like, mm -mm -mm. abracadabra, you look like a magician. Go and take that off. She's like, oh, can I see your ring? I'm like, no, abracadabra, zoom, it's gone. Go and change. You look like you're about to like, twinkle, twinkle, bust some Sabrina dust all over the place. I know. What shoes did he even have on? I like, right shoes too. I was like, okay, okay, okay. You remember Daniel Han used to always come in that, that um fuzzy blue top? Oh my God, Daniel Han loved that one. So I was like, guys, I've never worn this. So I was like, Daniel, you wear this top once a week. <laughs> You wear this top once a week. And just because last week you didn't wear it on a Friday, but you wear it on a Monday, does not mean that you can wear it this week on a, on a Friday. No. She loved that blue top. She loved that blue top. And she Michael. always felt like she never wore it. And we were like, yo, you wear <laughs> it Daniel, so much. Daniel, you wear this top all the time. Guys, you guys are so mean. No, Daniel, we just came from fiction. And last week you had on that top in fiction on Wednesday night. It's Friday. Like, my gosh, man. It's like, yeah. whoever does her laundry, as a laundry come out, she's like, oh, wow, a new top. I know, the same old blue top. <laughs> Where's Daniel? Oh, God, I love you, Sudan. Oh, God. I bet you she still has that blue top. If we post a picture now of Daniel, Daniel have on that, that blue fuzzy top. Probably. Probably. I mean, she looked great in the top, but it, she just kind of would like, it looked like we were always like, da Daniel was always at the same place and we kept changing our clothes and taking pictures with her. <laughs> Lord, man. Let's talk about that the girl weekend when I was younger. That the one bikini. I I, I was so drunk the entire weekend that the girl that I don't know. So let's give a little history. So right now we know Dream Weekend, right? Um, and uh, from what I know, Dream Weekend will be keeping this summer. Um, so before Dream Weekend, it was. ATI. It was ATI, and their main sponsor was Appleton. Appleton mm -hmm. Temptation Island. It was ATI. Now, before Appleton took it over, 
it was like a group of people and they were like, yo, we sick a town, let's go mm-hmm. for whatever weekend. So and it wasn't as huge no. as like a dream weekend was, but still it was pretty big and we had like... Well, it started off really so, and then, you know, word of mouth, you go in the grill, where are you going for the grill for? Just come in the grill. It's like, okay, cool. Because we went to the very, very, very first one. Yeah, remember? I was away. I was, I was on um, tour in Europe. No, you weren't. I was there? No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. It was me, you, and Andrew Chung. And he came to pick us up. Oh, yes, we drove from Trelawney. Mm-hmm. Come on, we had to keep an eye on us. We weren't allowed to sleep in the grill. Mm-hmm. So, anyway. <clears throat> um, so, it wasn't as big as it is now, but there were definitely parties every day, and it was definitely a jam. It was definitely a time. And I was young. I must have been, like, 19 or so. I came home from university, and we packed up, and I packed all of these clothes and bikinis and outfits. Anyway, I just got so wasted the entire weekend, like as any university student does, that I don't know, I just found myself constantly partying, like I was constantly partying. She was like in the same swimsuit, the whole one like a Burberry swimsuit. So I had no, to that was Samantha Fiani, I was in a She gets a one bus on a designer and she's like, everybody's gonna know I have designer swimsuit, a 300 let me pay for this, everybody gonna know send me a one. And I just, I just was like, I just think I fell asleep at different people's like cabins and then I woke up and I was like, oh, we're going to this party and then I just like went and I was just, I just had a great time, that was one of my Yes, my girl. It's kind of like when when you go to a party or to, to anywhere and you, you kind of don't have any expectations. Like I remember my very first crop over, which I think, my very first and my only. Unfortunately, I do want to go back in two thousand and twelve. We went there with no expectations. Uh, we didn't have a car. We didn't. We luckily we had a hotel room, and that was all we had. We had a costume and a hotel room. We didn't know how we were getting around. We didn't know who else was down there. We didn't know what where we were getting our food from. And I said, Tracy, just roll with the flow, which is very unnormal for me. Like, it was very rare. And it was just Jody and I that went down. It was yeah. nice. And we just went and we went. Oh, but the their, their juve was so... Their juve bad. bad. That was probably the best of juve these. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, everything what around they called it. it again? It wasn't juve what they called it. What do they call it, guys? It's not... And you, you walk down the... And it's actually... It was like, Tracy was scared. She's like... Do you see these buildings? Yeah. Like we're in a horror movie. Yeah, and I'm just like, spooky. you here for the architecture? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so good. And I remember that their carnival ended in the water. No, no, no. We went in the water. Oh, oh, oh. So I was... <laughs> four day, four day. Thank you, Apple DJs. So at the end of Juve, you know, you know, and there was a storm coming because no, you know, Best believe them are calling me from Jamaica. What we are going to do with the house? How have you put down the hurricane shutters? And I'm just like, no, the house will be fine. Like this, you know, whatever we want, we want me to do. Calling me about the storm. Then in another hotel, we are stay at Accra Hotel. They're now putting out sandbags, and I'm just like, oh, Juve is coming, you know. And I never came down here to put on a sandbag. I know. Anyway, at the end of Juve, I said to Tracy, I said, we are not going in the hotel room like this. Me and Tracy. Oh in the, 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 the big old oh my gosh, tsunami yes. waves. I wear there. Like, try, <laughs> and the tsunami waves. Take off the shirt because you, you go throw away the shirt. I mean, when we came out of that ocean, I didn't know how we even had on a panty because <gasps> I, don't. Get, no, I don't know why we thought that was a good idea. We could have I died. Don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Those were some big waves. Those were some very big what, waves. What Carlos call it? Like loose as flex. We did yeah. some loose things, you know? I mean, the waves were so high. <laughs> Jody, you have an excellent memory. Love the stores, says mommy. Oh my god. Yes, man. That was a loose flick. No, sure. Why they are looking at us? So worse. And I'm like, no, no, we are washing off. And there were some other people who thought it was a good idea. And they stayed on the sand. They were like, no, no, we're going to watch you guys. Like, this doesn't look safe yeah. at all. It was and, Tracy, safe. and Tracy was like, Jody says we have to wash off. And I'm like, we got to wash off. And we're there, wash off. And I gave a Jody says, says I'm there, I'm mm. going to do. Jody says jump. I'm like, how oh, high? <laughs> But um, we that, that, you know what was fun about that? So remember we took the bus? Yes. yes we so we went bus. to the bus park and we took the bus up. We took the bus to get our costume and then we left the costume place and then took the bus to Louis Vuitton. <laughs> like the bus. The, 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 bus the Louis bus. Vuitton down there doesn't have any taxes or so. So yeah. we were on the bus, like we were on the bus bus. Like we went to the bus park and it was like a dollar or less than a dollar. And yeah. we were like, where does this go, sir? And it's like, oh, I do not because you know, so we could barely understand, understand. the accent. Mm. We were like, "Wow, okay." But it was beautiful. We felt safe over there. I mean, we went, we went on like, I guess you call it like the city bus. Yeah. And we had a great time. The yeah. carnival was nice. 
Um, um, this was early days. days. I mean, if I go back, I would play. Remember when we went to that fancy restaurant? Alexis took us to that fancy restaurant on our last day there. It was oh, yeah. so nice. Yeah, we had a really, really good time. Big up to everybody to from Barbados. Barbados. Mm -hmm. Jody's story times are excellent. Maybe I should do a story time um, on my YouTube about um, Barbados Carnival and how we take all of the nice pictures. You know, I said we stand up like we at the balcony and take picture and a pose. That is my ring out baggy on the towel rack behind us. <laughs> Every single picture from Barbados, crotch up, ring out baggy in the background. Did I? No, Tracy, don't know. It was <laughs> Margo. Margo's like, you all couldn't put the panty inside? My, my Trini friend. I was like, what panty, Margot? She goes, the big pink panty behind you all, the big panty, you know, washing panty, crotch and foot right there. See, I said, big pink panty crotch turn up ways. Oh, no. That's <laughs> terrible. Oh, God. What's in the drink tonight, ladies? So we have two things going on. So we have Lady B and Lady T. So we're going to talk about the Lady B first, because B is the first letter in the alphabet. <laughs> B, C, D. So we have our Lady B Mixology, and today I am having the spicy mango. Had to clean off some of the ice because it's very frosty, and I am because having summer the peachy time. island. Because mm -hmm. of summertime. Wow. So Tracy <laughs> Ravers. <laughs> and then Tracy was Did like. Did you contact me? No. We want Ding to contact me. I feel like, hype a while ago. You just like, oh, sorry. Yeah, my name is Magali. He's like, yo, yo, yo. You name Tracy Ravens? Yeah. Let's go for coffee. You know, and head down. Do the coffee dance. Head for coffee. Head for coffee. Let everybody put on a croissant. A croissant. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to say that dance for sure. Yeah. yeah he's going to say that. He's going to yeah. go for coffee dance. Okay. Yeah. And then my lady T. Lady T here. Hi, Besides, she's going to make a cocktail because every week she goes, oh, oh lady, every, every week, Lady B does have well, a truck, every, so we yeah, can't well, And, uh, you know, this is just something that's available on Carib Shopper. It's called Anjaz, and it is their sorrel daiquiri mix, which Jody had a spoonful mm -hmm. of. But it's So the, the mixology part of this was See, it's up, not right. It's, yeah. But the actual daiquiri mix is very good. It's nice and thick. I think Trace is just impressed with the thickness because, you know, like thick. Um, but if you want, you can mix it with a little water if you want. You can mix it with a little rum. I would highly suggest the rum. It tastes good with some white rum. Mm -hmm. So the Sorrel Daiquiri Mix. And this is available on Carib Shopper. You know that we've been featuring products from Carib Shopper and talking about Carib Shopper. So people what in the diaspora... Just, it's amazing. It's an people amazing People in concept. the America and people in Canada, you can go on to CaribShopper.com and you can look at the various items. You can get Panadol. You can get patties. You can get Sorrel... Um, daiquiri mix, you can get patties, you can get t-shirts, and you can just get Jamaican and Caribbean made items that kind of make you feel like you're at home again. Trinidadian items. Trin I said Caribbean. Mm -hmm. They're in the Caribbean. Yeah. So yeah. we just want to, we just want to say, let's take a Tobago. drink. Tobago. You want to go there? I've been to Tobago. You've been. Had crab and dumplings. I want to go. Mm. Mm. All right, so you need to slow down. So let's trick is corner time now. Ninja, ginger. It's sold out. What? This, you know why it's sold out? Because it tastes good. It's really good. All right, so Jazz, you need to get on your game and make some more. Do you have Trini's in the house? And um, earlier, somebody had mentioned that we need to pray for our brothers and sisters over in Trinidad because um, they're having a terrible storm right now. So we just Lord. need to remember that. You know, I feel that water can be way more damaging than fire. Um, and we underestimate the power of water. So I just want to keep our Trini brothers and sisters in our prayers. And just hope that everybody stays safe um, during this, this time. It's raining outside here. We're having, we're having some really crappy weather. Anyway, if you don't have a good tricky corner, then just stay by the wall. I, I'm not dealing with no crappy tricky corner I again this week. I thought my tricky corner last drag was such a good thing. No, it was not. Tricky yes, corner was. last week sucked. I wrote down what I wanted to talk about too. Let yeah, me... okay. She's she's pulling up her notes. She's pulling up her notes. I'm... Hold on. I can't find it. Hey, look, I just went and washed another pink panty. I wanted to show you my costume for Jamaica Carnival. Wait, hold on. What was it again? I wanted to talk about... 
Oh, it was so good too. At least I thought it was good. Oh, what did you really smell like, Cherry? Eh? I really can't remember. Oh, but you did have. Uh, you did I have had something planned out to talk about. Yeah. And it had to do with like your mood and yourself and um. So is that? She, so I see your comments about my skin. Thank you very much. Maybe I'll do an updated skin routine video. I gave myself a facial last night. It's so funny that you said that because just today um, Tracy was here and I was like, I gave myself such a nice facial. Like I feel like my skin looks so nice. Um, so maybe one of my YouTube videos. I do have a, a regimen, regime that's on my YouTube now. So maybe I'll do an updated one because I do have a couple more tricks that I've been using. And yeah. Well, you know, oh, I remember what my trick is kind of was now. Okay, take a moment, breathe, control yourself, compose yourself. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you about this tricky score and about just taking time to check in with your own mental status. I find that there is so much going on in the world and there's so much that we are trying to keep up with. You know, party time has come. So, you know, you, you're extending yourself, doing partying, you still have work to fulfill, you still have your work duties, you still have your family duties to fulfill. And so, the AC is on, I'm making stuffy. And so, I just wanted to ask you guys, have you checked in with yourself mentally? So, um, I think it's very hard for us to admit to ourselves that something is wrong. And we never want to say, oh, something is wrong with me it's always with everybody else doing something to affect me you know and um i thought about this recently because i was talking to a girlfriend of mine who has recently had a child and she was just saying how things are so hard for her and i said to her you know things are really hard for me too and i i found it extremely extremely difficult to perform daily functions and i remember at one point just thinking to myself like i'm not interested in anything i had no motivation to do anything and then i had to check myself and i realized i was suffering from postpartum depression which is something that is totally different from baby blues postpartum depression carries on well after the baby is of a certain age and um it was something that was really affecting me and it affected all the relationships in my life i felt like i was on edge I constantly felt like I was being um, judged and I just felt nothing that I could do was right. I felt super overwhelmed and the anxiety of um, just new mom drama was really, really getting to me. And so I had to check myself and um, I actually went to go and see somebody to talk about my postpartum depression, which is hard for me to even admit that I had something wrong with me something postpartum depression because it's supposed to be one of those times of your lives where you're so super happy you just had a baby and you're supposed to be oh amazed in all of this baby glory and i really wasn't but i was so intent on making my baby happy for stevie i was always present i was always there i was always making stevie happy but it was the exhaustion of myself and you know um i was thinking about it the other day because i'm no longer in that in that deep dark hole of depression i have climbed my way out of it and i was thinking to myself i'm so happy that i checked myself i'm so happy that i had the support i needed around me to check myself and i you know i was thinking does everybody feel comfortable with checking themselves do you have someone a therapist that you can call that you can talk to we had somebody on here the other day named chris mafood he was very cute he's a therapist um and he's yeah i know he's cute <clears throat> he's a psychologist and um i think it's very important that it's somebody who is not your friend or a family member i think it's somebody who can actually give deep rooted medical advice it's somebody who can give you direct um direction outsider's opinion so yeah. i think it's very important where it's not tainted by family or friends or knowing or you know being affected by what you're doing so i think an outsider's opinion is, is important yeah and i just wanted everybody to summarize on its way 
and we are about to head into one of the greatest summers <clears throat> on earth because it is the summer of opening back up and I just wanted everybody to head into the summer with a good mental status and have you checked yourself. Are you okay? Do you need a little help? And it's fine if you do, but just make sure you treat yourself to the good health that you deserve. This was a good tricky corner. This is a tricky corner that we have been waiting for. Not the foolishness he gave us last week. This was great, Tracy. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Drink your Henny up. Mm. Anyway, nice with this still in the vlog, <laughs> yeah, see everybody, we're getting a couple of hearts here. They like this one. Um, that no one will ever take care of you better than you can take care of you. Unless it's a rich man. <laughs> so, um, um, you don't know how to ask. You don't, you don't have to ask anybody. So as Tracy said, um, don't ask. You just, don't ask. Just call. Just, just call. call somebody. And there is um, life coaches, well, counselors. And there's also um, online platforms that you can yes. use. BetterHelp.com. If you don't want, if you want to be very nameless and faceless, BetterHelp.com. There's a plethora of um, therapists out here in Jamaica. You can call. You can call the so. university. Um, they do have doctors and therapists at the university. Chris Mafood is always there. He is not only a psychiatrist, he's a psychologist, psychologist, which is something that I really like about him because he can actually prescribe medication if that is what you need. Um, so don't ask for help, just get help. Right. It's nothing that you Somebody's need. Somebody's giving a um, psychologytoday.com so thank you for that, um, Jamaican. You can also go on to WebMD. WebMD. If you're in the Caribbean, you can go on to WebMD. Not Web. It's, it's WebMD? No. What is it? It's MD Link. MD Link. You can go. I know. WebMD is a thingy type. Wait, wait. That's a good Am thing. I sick? Yes. You are going to die in four days. No, what is it? What is it? MD Link. MD Link. You can go on to MD Link. MD Link. We have had them on the show. They are yes, and they do have everything from sign, psychologists, yes. counselors, um, dermatologists, um, fever doctor. We you call can go on to MD Link, and you can find your psychologist on there. But just go, just have a conversation with somebody, and remember that if this is something that you think you need more than one. Um, appointment with or more than one visit that you and your doctor have to have a rapport okay so the first doctor that you may see may not be the doctor for you and that's quite okay so you may want to see somebody else after that if you don't feel that you're making the bond that is there okay but um, MD link does have the doctor for you <laughs> sorry I'm trying. Hey, yo me can't even, me the reading thing I mean alright guys we are going to end for today um, and what I will do is over on the YouTube channel on my YouTube channel what I'll do is I will drop some websites below where you could go on to to get some help uh, family life ministries so I've been to family life ministries um, before too and they have different counselors there that can help you so I'm gonna drop some um, in the description in our YouTube channel. Um, for anybody who was giving um, advice in terms of Family Life Ministries and the other one, I, I, um, can you please DM them to me so MD that I can... Link. Okay, Tracy. <coughs> can you just M, uh, MD link them to me so that I can put them in the description? Guys, that's it for today. We have for our sponsors today, we would like to big up and thank Carib Shopper. Carib Shopper. They will be down in the description. Also, we would like to thank Lady B Mixology coming whoop, through. Whoop. With, whoa, with our mixes today. <laughs> then we have Lady T. Whoop, whoop, with the Sorrel Daiquiri mix. And she made us some lovely drinks. They are very tasty. Sponsor, one of our favorites on the show. We have Candy Craze. Oh Give my gosh, this. we didn't give away the two Candy Craze gift cards and kids. What? Huh? What? We didn't give away the Candy Craze gift cards and kids. Oh my gosh. Right. We are going to give them away over on Tuesdays with Tricky on the Tuesdays with Tricky page. We're going to give them out today. <laughs> so make sure you stay tuned. I don't know how Trace is going to do it. She needs to like sober up and have some bread, like a tea first, and then. Um, Am I drunk? I don't know. All right, guys, but thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week, Tuesday, for another full hour of fun, frolic, foolishness, and fuckery. Thank you so much whoa, for watching. I will teach me how to boogie. 
Where's bad. That? No, that's not that's not Ding Dong's dance. They didn't call me Uptown Ramos. I'm done. <laughs> Bye, guys. Make sure you catch a repeat in high definition over on YouTube. I will have to ask Ding Dong to give us a YouTube dance. Yeah. Over on the YouTube. Everybody, everybody, go and subscribe. Yes, no. That don't rhyme. So let me just log out. Log out. Log out. Bye. That's enough.